Boat Team LCPS and thanks for joining me today. I'm excited because the time has arrived to announce our six 2020 Educators of the Year and our seven Team LCPS MVPs of the Year. Here at Louisa County Public Schools, I believe we have the best team in the country. And as is the case with any great team, our team is made up of awesome people. People who are willing to go the extra degree to get the job done right. This school year presented our team with unique challenges, but I'm proud to say our team rose to the occasion. Throughout this school year, you, the Team LCPS community, submitted more than 6,000 MVP nominations. 6,000. Through those nominations, we were able to honor members of this team each week for a job well done. To everyone who received the nomination this year, congratulations and great work. Today, we honor the best of the best at each school. Our winners live out our non-negotiables each day. They're supportive, they have high expectations, they're accountable, they're consistent and positive in their attitudes, and they have the grit it takes to make the magic happen. So without further ado, join me as we congratulate our winners. Let's start with our Team LCPS MVPs of the Year. From Jewett Elementary School, Instructional Assistant, Mary Robinson. From Moss Knuckles Elementary School, Bookkeeper, Rhonda Payne. From Thomas Jefferson Elementary School, Custodian, Darlene Stanley. From Trevelyan's Elementary School, Custodian, Bobby Sabins. At Louisa County Middle School, Custodian, Floyd Thompson. At Louisa County High School, Secretary, Ashley Shoemaker. And for Central Office and Operations, Maintenance Electrician, Ronnie Fisher. Great job to all seven of you and congratulations on your awards. Now we move on to our Educators of the Year. From Jewett Elementary School, Librarian, Lori Lamans. From Moss Knuckles Elementary School, Fifth Grade Teacher, April Whip. From Thomas Jefferson Elementary School, Kindergarten Teacher, Whitney Smith. From Trevelyan's Elementary School, fourth grade teacher, Felicia Clements. From Louisa County Middle School, eighth grade science teacher, Sally A.G. And finally, from Louisa County High School, librarian, Katherine Duke. To these six educators, I say thank you. Thank you for inspiring our students each day with your hard work, dedication, and passion for education. Thank you for encouraging them to collaborate, to innovate, and to dream big. We have such an awesome team here at Team LCPS, a team that supports each other and shares in each other's success. We're on a journey to greatness in all we do, and most importantly, we're on a journey together. Looking ahead, our seven MVPs of the year are now eligible for the prestigious Wallace L. Tingler MVP of the Year Award. And our six educators are now eligible for the William G. Thomas Educator of the Year Award. These are both prestigious honors and I'm thrilled that we have such an impressive list of candidates. We'll be announcing our two winners in the weeks ahead, so be on the lookout for that. We're going to post photos of our 13 school level winners to our social media pages as well. So please be sure to take a moment to recognize our winners and thank them for a job well done. And before I go, I want to thank our partners for this year's Team LCPS MVP and Educator of the Year process. The William A. Cook Foundation and Strange House Skate Shop. Their support helped make this year's award process possible. So again, thank you so much. And to all of you out there who submitted an MVP nomination this school year, thank you. Again, 6,000 nominations were submitted this year. So give yourself a big round of applause as well. Incredible job, and I mean it when I say it. I think we have the best community in the nation right here in Louisa County. Team LCPS, I appreciate you, and thank you for your support. And once again, congratulations to our 13 winners. Have a fantastic day, and we are Team LCPS.